Good morning. How are you? How are you? Welcome to Circle Time, friends. I'm so excited that you're here today. I can't wait to review our Circle Time board. Oh, Ooh. do you hear that? Listen. Listen. Put on your listening ears. I hear it. I think it's our good morning train. Yes, I think the good morning train is here. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing what color? Green. Choo choo. Hello, friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing. Brown, choo choo, hello friends. And we'll say hello to our friends, all of our friends wearing pink. Hello friends, choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing blue. Choo choo, hello friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing white. Yes, choo choo, hello friends. And we'll say hello to our friends wearing Orange! Choo choo! Hello friends! And we'll say hello to our friends, all of our friends wearing yellow! Choo choo! And we'll say hello to our friends wearing red! That's right! Hello friends! Choo choo! And we'll say hello to our friends wearing, oh, let's get it! Black! Yes! Choo choo! And we'll say hello to our friends wearing purple. Choo choo. And we'll say hello to our friends, all of our friends. And we'll say hello to everyone that came to circle. Choo choo. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, morning train. See you tomorrow. I'm so excited we're here. Are you excited to be here today? Yes, I am too, and I wanted to say good morning to you. I wrote a sign for you that says, good morning. Let me get my pointer so we can read the sign together. It says, good morning. Good morning, friend. Are you ready to learn today? You are. Are you ready to review our circle time board? Yes, you are. Well, if you're ready and you know it, shake your hands. If you're ready and you know it, shake your hands. Shake them high, shake them low, shake them fast, shake them slow. If you're ready and you know it, shake your hands. Shake, shake. I think you're ready. Let's do it. First, we're going to sing the days of the week. And remember, when you sing the days of the week, you can clap your hands, you can snap your fingers, or you can just sing whatever you choose. Are you ready? Get ready. Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 One more time. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. We did it! We sang the days of the week. But what day is it today? Hmm, let's look at our board. Yesterday was Monday, so let's go down one. Today is Tuesday, t -t -t Tuesday, that's right, it's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Yes, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Yes, that's right, today is Tuesday. Let's put it on the board. Today is Tuesday. Let's read it together. Ready? T 
today is Tuesday. T for Tuesday. T -t Tuesday. That's right. Now let's find out who remembers what the number of the week is. What's the number? What's the number? What's the number of the week? Who remembers? Who remembers? What's the number of the week? Who remembers what the number of the week is? Oh, let me hear. You think so? The number of the week is 10. 10 is the number of the week. 10. And 10 has a 1 and a 0. That's right. A one and a zero. That makes the number 10. Let's put 10 on the board. 10. Now let's count 10 colored pencils. Oh, where are the colored pencils? I have to get them. I found our colored pencils. 10 colored pencils. Now let's put them on the board. I'll put them on the board. You help me count them aloud. Ready? Great. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. colored pencils. 10. Now let's use our pointer to count them. Pointer. Ready? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 colored pencils. Great counting. Now let's count some dots. I'm going to draw 10 red dots and 10 blue dots, and you can help me count them. Are you ready? Let's go to our writing and drawing board. This will be our blue side. Blue. This will be our red side. Red. Okay, I'm going to put some blue dots here. And on the other side, then we're going to put some red dots. Let's count our blue dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, we're missing some. Let's count our red dots and see if we have ten. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, we're still missing some. We'll have to add more. Okay, I want to add a blue dot. Should I put blue on this side or this side? You point. Put it on this side. Okay, we'll put another blue dot here. Okay. I want to put another red dot. Should I put a red dot on this side or this side? Where should I put another red dot? You point. Oh, on this side. Great. I want to put another blue dot. Should I put it on the blue side or the red side? You point. Oh, the blue side. Blue, blue. Okay. Oh, I want to put another red dot. Should I put red on the blue side or the red side? You point. Great, the red side. Great. And I want to put one more blue dot. Should I put it on the blue side or the red side? You point. Blue side. Great. We'll put it over here. Okay. Let's count to see if we have 10 blue and 10 red. Help me count. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten blue dots. Let's count the red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten red dots. You did it. Now let's find out what the letter of the week is. Who remembers what the letter of the week is? I'll give you a clue. It makes the sound t, 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 like Tuesday. T, t, t. Every letter makes a sound and T. T says t, 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 t. Great. Can you make that sound as well? Let's try it together. Every letter makes a sound in T says t, 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 t. Great, thank you for helping make that sound. Let's put T on the board. T, the letter of the week is T. T for tomato. T for table. T for turtle. T for toes. <laughs> T for tap, 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 tap. Very good. You guys are getting so good at finding things that start with letter T. Keep on looking around your home to find things that start with letter T. T, T, T. Now let's find out what the shape of the week is. Who remembers what the shape of the week is? It has four sides. Four sides. Two sides are long and two sides are short. Two sides are long and two sides are short. That's right. Who remembers what it's called? Hmm, you keep thinking. The shape of the week is a rectangle. Rectangle is our shape of the week. Now let me show you those long sides. Look at the top. This is long. Look at the bottom down here. This is long. Oh, let's look on the side. This side is short and this side is short. That's right. The rectangle, two long sides and two short sides. Four, should we count them? Okay, let's do that too. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four sides. Let's put the rectangle on the board. Great. Now let's find out what's the, what's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining out today? What's the weather where you live? You may have to look out your window. I'll give you a little bit of time and then come back and tell me what the weather is where you live. Okay, go. Hey, are you back? Great. What's the weather where you live? Really? Well, let me see what the weather is here where I live. I have to look out my window now. I'm going to look out my window. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see clouds and the sun. I see clouds and the sun. Oh, so it's partly sunny. There's some clouds and there's some sun. Let's see if we can find a picture that represents partly sunny. I have my weather bag. Let me see what pictures I can find. Can you help me? Can you help me find partly sunny? Great. How about this picture? Is that partly sunny? Do you see sun and the clouds? No, I just see clouds. This is a cloudy day. We'll save it for a cloudy day. 
How about this one? Is that partly sunny? No, this is rain, a rainy day. Let's save this picture for a rainy day. How about, how about this picture? What do you think? Do you see clouds and the sun? Yes, it's partly sunny. That's right. I think we could put this on the board. Let's do it. The weather is partly sunny. Can you help me say it? The weather is partly sunny. Thank you for helping me. Oh, I think we're ready to help our friend. Who's this? Mr. Weather Bear. Let's help him get dressed for the partly sunny day here. I have my Weather Bear bag and all of his clothes. Let's help him get ready for this partly sunny day. And it's mm, a little, little, little bit warm, but he may have to make sure he has something that'll keep him warm in case it gets a little chilly. Okay, let's see what we can find. First, let's start with Mr. Weather Bear's new blue jeans. Can we put his new blue jeans on with his belt? Yes, let's do it. Okay, Mr. Weather Bear, there go your jeans. And now let's see what he should wear on his feet. Do you think he should wear snow boots or sneakers? Hmm, snow boots or sneakers? You can point. Oh, if you pointed to sneakers, I have to agree. I think sneakers are perfect and we'll save the snow boots for a snowy day. Okay, Mr. Weather Bear, there go your sneakers. And now, Do you think Mr. Weather Bear should wear a raincoat or a jacket? Raincoat or jacket? You can point. Great, let's put on his jacket. I agree, we can save the raincoat for a rainy day. And remember, yesterday I showed you that Weather Bear had new caps, caps for his head. Do you think he should wear the green cap today to match his jacket? or the blue cap today? Well, yesterday he wore blue, so can we give the green a try? Great, we'll save blue for another day. Let's put green on today. Okay, there's his green cap. I think Mr. Weather Bear is ready for this partly sunny day. See you later, Mr. Weather Bear. We reviewed the entire circle time board. We did it together. And now it's time to choose a song to end our circle time with. Are you ready? Great! I found our circle time songs. And let's see what's on top. Can you see? This is the bingo circle time song. Bingo! And bingo is spelled B-I-N-G-O. B-I-N-G-O. And when we sing it, we're going to clap for each letter. Like this, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. And then as we keep singing the song, we'll stop saying each letter one at a time, but we will keep on clapping, okay? All right, you can follow along with me. We'll do it together. You follow what I do, and we're going to keep on practicing this bingo song during circle time. Ready? Get ready. Here we go. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer who had a dog. Bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O, I-N-G-O. I-N-G-O and bingo was his name, oh. Now we're gonna add two claps for the B and the I. Let's try it. There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. N-G-O, N-G-O, N-G-O and bingo was his name, oh. Now we're going to add three claps for the B-I-N. Let's try it. There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name, oh. 
G O G O G O and Bingo was his name. Oh, four claps. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, five claps, and no spelling the name. Are you ready? Let's try it. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh. And Bingo was his name. Oh, you did it. You did it. You followed along. Great work today. We reviewed the entire Circle Time board and we even sang a new song. Bingo. B-I-N-G-O. And you helped me sing along. Thank you, everyone. I had a great time in Circle. I hope you had a great time, too. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.